Good morning, my dear brothers and my sisters. So, let us start the, the lecture on Niti. Niti Pakaranas. First, it is explained. Sangha Vara chapter has fallen. After that, Odisha Vara, the second chapter, Odisha section. Then, number three, third, Nidhi Savara. After that, Pati Nidhi Savara. So, all together. Four chapters explain. Now, according to commentary and definition, recurrent to Desanahara, I want to define the meanings of. Asada, Adinawa, Nesarana, Pala, Ubaya, Anati. Three points. Commentary Asada, Adinawa, Anati. This Asada. Hara Sankhipatiya. Hara <coughs> Asada Adinova Nisarana Pala Ubaya Anadi. These six points are embodied in this Hara. To understand this Nahara, we must try to understand these six points. According to six points, Buddha's teaching will be explained this Nahara. Here, this means explanation of the Buddha's teaching. Hara means by means of one dis, uh, dispelling of ignorance, undecisiveness, and babasha. So, this Nahara. By explanation, this is six point. We have understand, understanding more and more the Buddha's teachings. First, we must we must know this asada. What is asada? Not a just a translation, a commentary, an explanation. Asada means you see. Asada enjoyments. These enjoyments are according to <coughs> according to sense, according to ultimate state. Sukha, Somanasa, and desirable object. 
Asara is physical pleasant, physical pleasure, or mental happiness, sukha, somanasa. Then desirable object. Then what is a desire? Tanna, Krivi. Desiring also asara. After that, because of barbarian cravings are coming to be, therefore, barbarian also included asara. So asara is five kinds here. Asara is five kinds. Sukha, physical pleasant feeling. Somnasa, happiness. Ittaramana, desire for. Desire, uh, desire object, desirable object, then craving or attachment, then not. after that, babashen, vipanlasa. These five are called asara. Asara. Sukha, samanasa, vipanlasa, to be desired, therefore they are asara. To be enjoined, Tanna and Vipanlasa is that make desire, desire. Desire to be desire. Desire for to be desire is together, you see. Without a desiring, without a desire for, cannot be the, the object to be desired. Even object is even desired without a craving, no desires are coming to be. Therefore, subject and object together mentioned here. Asada enjoyment is both subjective state and object. Sukha, Somanasa, Etaramana, Tanna, and Vipanlasa. Because of Tana and Vipanlasa, the enjoyment of sense of pleasure is coming to be, desire for sense of pleasure is coming to be. the definitions are asade, 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 asado, to be enjoined. Therefore, asada. One that enjoying also asara, the na vipanasa. So there is included, which are the object of craving. All, all Monday states are, uh, the states that belong to Monday are also, you see, the object of desire. Object or desire for. Only nirvana is free from desire. Nirvana is not an object of desire. So, everything are also included, which is belong to Monday state. All Monday states are also asara. So, altogether, we say six point, six. What is asara? We we understood six. So six means sukha, somnasa, etaramana, tanna, vipanasa, all types of Monday state, Monday object, Monday objects also are the object of tanna, the object of craving. Therefore, they are all together included in asada. Whatever the Buddha talk, we must consider, we must analyze by means of this point, by means of this point. That is called Dhisanahara, explanation. 
or the six point is some of the teachings are directly maybe one point or two point or three points and not all together six point. Right. But interior ways all are included. So this is Asara. Adinawa. Adinawa means uh, evil, danger, or false, evil, danger, false, unsatisfactoriness. Adinawa. That is the meaning which is a cause to suffering. That or that cause to suffering. Whatever cause to suffering, it is called Adinawa. The English terms cannot be covered in the whole meaning, so therefore, danger, for evil. So, whatever may be, it is cause to suffering. All states are called Adinawa. Bring about the suffering. Adinan dokan wadi kanadi di Adinawa. Definition. Adinawa is a so-called because it is a cause to suffer. It causes to suffer. Adinawa. Wadi. Adina Toka Wadi Ti Wadi Kanadi Ti Adina Wo. So Adina Wo sometimes Puwa Puwa men Puwa peoples are so called Adina Wo. They have a Many problems they have suffered. They have a lot of suffering. Poor people are called Adinawa. Like that. So, all Tamas belong to three play Kama play, Ruba play, Aruba play. All Tamas belong to three play are Adinawa. Because they are subject to impermanent, subject to suffering, subject to soulless, no soul, therefore Adinawa. Great disturbances. So Adinawa is also white. But as he stated, we must know Adinawa means. Uh, Unpleasant feeling, dukkha virana, dukkha, dukkha virana. You know there are three types of dukkha. Three types of dukkha. Dukkha, dukkha. Number one is dukkha, dukkha. Number one say you see, dukkha, dukkha means physical suffering. Or dukkha virana, dukkha dukkha. Second is vipri nama dukkha. Vipri nama dukkha means sukha virana. When sukha changes, it becomes dukkha. If we lose pleasant feeling, then it becomes dukkha. So, dukkha dukkha, vipri nama dukkha. Then Sankara Dukkha ever changes, whatever may be, or are subject to impermanence are called Sankara Dukkha. So Dukkha Dukkha, Vibrinama Dukkha, Sankara Dukkha. Dukkha Dukkha means Dukkha Dhammanasa, together. Physical pain and mental unhappiness, that is Dukkha Dukkha, really Dukkha. People understood this dukkha. The other dukkhas, the other dukkhas had to be known as a suffering. People maybe think of enjoyment. So 
We bring Nama Dokasa. When change, it just become Dokha. That is a Sukha, Swamanasa. The remaining, the remaining are Sankhara Dokha. Sankhara Dokha is a conditioned things. All conditioned things are subject to suffering. Subject to impermanence. That is called Dokkata, three Dokkata, the state of suffering. Dokkha, Dokkha, Viprinama, Dokkha, Sankhara, Dokkha. Sankhara, Dokkha is possible to realize by Vipassana knowledge. Dokkha, Dokkha, so everybody knows about that. Yeah. Very painful, unhappiness, the experience is such a Dokkha, Dokkha. We bring Nama Dukha as a Sukha Samanasa. The remaining is Sankhara Dukha. So, therefore, Sabhang Vidhi Dan Dukha Samay, the Buddha said sometimes. All experiences are Safari. Whatever experience it is, a Safari. So that is belong that is a Arinawa belong to Arinawa or to Kas. Then all Sankara yeah, all Sankaras are also called Arinawa. Because of subject to suffering, subject to uh solace, no so therefore Arinawa. Arinawa also very white. We, we must uh, contemplate by means of this, the point of Adinawa also. What the Buddha talk? Yeah. For example, you see, Babani Sukho Papasa Ucheyo, Dokho Papasa Ucheyo. The accumulation of evil is suffering. So there is Arinava or Akusala explained in the Buddha. Savi Sankara Anicca. All conditioned things are impermanent. The Buddha said there is Arinava. Desang Ubasmo Sukho. Desang Ubasmo Sukho. The Cessation of, cessation of all conditioned things are sukha. That is a nesarana, the Buddha. I got a new point of truth. By suffering, through the suffering, the Buddha explained, I know what. And the second, the way truth, it is explained in Asara. By that, no uh, way truth, Niroda, but I explain in Nisarana, the exit of Sansara. By the fourth, no way truth of Cessation of suffering, the way to lead in cessation of suffering. It is Upaya, way of escape. We of escape. So, we must understand in this way, this Nahara. So, first we must know what is Asara, what is Adinoa. Then, Nisarana. Nisarana is two. Escape and exist. Escape by means of ex escapes, uh, the cost to escape, which is escape. So, Ariya Mega, the path, noble path, and Nirvana. Noble path is Nidharana because of the way of exit. So, noble path also. 
नहीं दरना नहीं भाना और सो नहीं सरना एस्केप और एसिस्ट बाय मीस ऑफ पाथ वी हैव टू एस्केप वी हैव टू फ्री फ्रॉम संसार वी हैव टू गो आउट फ्रॉम संसार बाय मीस ऑफ पाथ नेवाना इज वेर there is escaped exist is a free from sapare and free from sansara therefore nisarana is a two maka nova path and nibbana nova four phala phala means fruition fruition is what or oh, of which fruition That is a fruition of teaching, not others. Fruition of teaching. By explanation, is there is a result that come out. This is not a lie. That is it. What is the meaning? That is it. Uh, knowledge, wisdom, or knowledge. Knowledge produced by learning. Sutamaya nyana. Knowledge by learning, by hearing dhamma. Sutamaya nyana is it. The Buddha explained in dhamma, the listeners understand. This understanding is sutamaya nyana. Without the learning, without the hearing, without the listening dhamma, we cannot understand so the understanding understanding by learning is sutamaya this is phala here not the other phalas referring to here by teaching what is benefit we obtain <coughs> the under the title of fruition under the fruition All noble practice, learning, uh, studying, reading the books, and observing sila, offering dana, or like that. All noble practice are included as a fra, as a fra. Realizing of the meaning, realizing of the word. Uh, What is former situations? The former situations started from sila up to noble path or apra. Or the recurring to vipassana. There are six purifications. The purifications, all purifications, are also phala. Purifications of round view, purifications of view, purifications of purification by overcoming doubt. That's all purifications are phala. Yeah. Not only that, uh, by offering dana, one will be born in the blissful state. That is also result, phala. All good result are included, included in this wide. All result, good result, uh, all good result. By teaching, by listening to Dhamma, one becomes good person. He has a good moralities. There is also result. This is Nafala. So all together is Nafala here. Upaya. What is upaya? Upaya means 
upaya is means or ways this is pobhabhaga patipada pobhabhaga pribada which lead to nowhere path or practice which lead to nowhere nowhere path these are here upaya upaya means always nowhere practice a for nowhere practice or sila swari panya a for nowhere or baba baga patibra so see and we study back as I explained, Sile Vidaitaya Naro Sapanyo Chaitam Panyanja Pavaya. This is Upaya. How to attain Nirvana? There's a way. God create the world. How to join with the God? There's a no way. Must be there's a way. How to join? How to associate with the God? Just a confession is impossible, you see. Association. There must be way, you see. Reunion of God is moksha, freedom. Reunion of according to the, the others' views, you see. God created individual souls. These souls have suffered bondage with the bondages of karma and kilesa, great suffering and samsara, wondering about that. When he understands, I came from, I was created by the God, that is ignoring, uh, dispelling us or ignoring, that is a wager. Understanding. I mean created by uh, universal court. Then dispelling of ignorance, reunion is coming to be. That is a freedom, free from sabhare. That is the way they keep. According to Buddhist test, if you go to the heaven, you must follow the samatha method, meditation, samatha meditation. If you are successful in samatha meditation, you will be caught. You will be in Brahma. You will be born in Brahma, etc. You will be more powerful than the God you believe in. So that is a way, Kevin. If you dislike it to go to the heaven, if you want to go to Nirvana, it's followed the Vipassana meditation practice. By Vipassana, you understand the Sankara conditioned things. If you understand, realize Sankara, if you realize Sankara, you will no attachment to Sankara. You can cut off Sankara. After that, you never reunite, you never be reunion with the Sankara. It is a freedom, you are liberation. Because as far as we have attachment, we will be reunion with the conditioned things, sankhara. So with sankhara is no, detachment from sankhara. Nirvana stage is detachment of sankhara state. All sankharas are conditioned things are impermanent and suffering. So. By means of vipassana practice, we can remove the sankhara by removing attachment. 
So that is the way we also explain. That is upaya. Anati. Anati is <coughs> the Buddha's kite, encouragement. The Buddha kite. If you wish to free from suffering, you must go this way. Just a guide, the Buddha, you see. You must go this way. By yourself. It's the only guide the way. Only point out the way. We must walk. If you not walk by practicing Dhamma, you cannot reach we cannot reach that that point. Anati means, you see, encouragement. That is the way by guide. Pointing out, that is the way you must go. So, anati. Anati means, you see, uh, order. Order, command, translations in this way, but injunction, injunction, teachers order, injunction, teachers guide. Anati, literally, anati, and Bali does say, anapisani. Send into, send, send into the way, send into the point, send. According to the other rules, anatis, what is the rules of anati? Anya. Nya means make no, make to make no, make others no. Cost to know, cost to understand. That is a guide, you see. How to understand, explain. What should be done, what should not be done. That is an anti. Guide what should be done, what should not be done. You should do this one. You should not do that one. For example, not to do any evil, to cultivate the good, to purify your mind. That is an anti, you see. What should be done, what to do? He gave instruction. That is anati. Instruction. Admonition. Instruction. Order. Comment. So, the Buddha always pointed out in this way. Encourage the, the, the disciples. So, regarding to Desanahara, we must understand this is six point. Whatever sutta we should we study it, we must study according to this six point. If we wish to explain in the Dhamma, we must explain it by means of this six point. That is a Desanahara method. Desanahara Niti means, you see, special explanation. What meaning is normal explanation? Huh? General normal explanation. That is a special. Special explanation is not just meaning of what. Meaning with the six point. According to six point, we must explain in the Dharma. Following the sequence of the one to six, 
Well, one of the six also, some are derived, indirect is possible all. So we have to follow in one, lesser two, lesser three, and then follow in the sequence? Yeah, this are you see, connect everything, connections everything. For example, Nivyanam Brahman Sukha. <coughs> Even the Buddha said, <coughs> Nivyana is a supreme happiness. The Buddha talk at this word. So you should understand, Nivyana, Brahma, Sukhasa. This is the Buddha explaining escape. Only escape. But these actually, without a way, without a path, impossible. Therefore, path, path is understood. That is a Ubaya. Ubaya understood. So, without the removing, dispelling, the craving, it is impossible. So, that is also adding Asara, also explain that. Connections, you see, we, we can understand all, all connections. But the directly is the only one. You know? Never number of months who can say just exit or uh, Nesarana one. Right, dry need the Buddha mission only Nesarana. So, Papana, Akarana, Sukhan, so that is the Buddha said, without doing uh, avoidance or Akusala, avoidance or evil is pleasant, uh, blissful. Please, it is, the Buddha said, there is Agusla is a dangerous, Arinoa, directly Arinoa. Is it okay? Accordingly, we must understand. But, in direct ways, we must understand others also. So, that is, first we define it, these six points, six points. After that, that is, you see, yata udana asada dina vipachana lekhano saunana visi so disana haro. Special explanation, special commentaries, uh, special commentaries, so disana hara, disana hara. I miss all this way. So according to Bali, we must go. Just three, uh, I have explained, recurring to the Kama Sutta. In Kama Sutta, in Kama Sutta is belong to Sutta Nipata, included in Sutta Nipata. You have the bodies, huh? Kama Kamiya Manasa Dasa Chitan Samai Chati Adha Pitimeno Hoti Lada Macho Yate Chati it's okay. In Kama Sutta, in Sutta Nipata Pali, Dasa Ji Kamaya Nasa, Chanda Chattasa Chantuno, Di Kama Brihayanti, Sanlawe Dova Robati, Yokami Bri Vacheti Sapasi Vapada Siro, Soma Visati Kan Logi Sato Sabati Vutati. Kitan Wutu Hirinyawa Kawasanda Saborisa Tio Bandu Putu Kami Yonaro Anu Kachati Abala Nampali Yandi Madandi Nambrisaya Dadona and Dukamanuidi Nawum Baina Mi Watakan Dasma Chandu Sadasato Kama Nipri Wichi Tipahaya Dari Oga Nawan Sitwa Waparku that the whole Kama Sutta, this one. Okay? In Sutta Nibada, in Ataka Weka, eight groups, group of eight. Ataka Weka, 
all the uh, eight parcels together collected. Each one has eight parcels. Inshallah. So they see that. Okay. Inshallah. Oh. Okay. You see, we should understand these the meanings correctly. Very beautiful meanings, yeah. Uh, very close to the meaning with us. <coughs> the situations of the beings, what worldly persons, what worldly persons in their daily life. <coughs> One desires for sense of pleasure. Now we desires for sense of pleasure. Everybody is searching for sense of pleasure. Sense of pleasure, so by seeing, by hearing, by seeing, by listening, by smiling, by tasting, by touching, most people, what is the comfortable, they are searching for it. That is a karma kuna, sense of pleasure. It's bondage. Our minds bind together with the object. We cannot escape it from such a pleasure because of craving for, desire for sense of pleasure. Therefore, worldly persons, kama, kamiya, manasa, tatcha, tatsa, chitam, samishati, one desire for sense of pleasure for him. If it is a wish pool, if he succeeds whatever he wants, or he is so, so happy, so happy, whatever he wants, he like, he obtain, he is so happy. If it is wishful and have a receipt. What wants he surely joyful. Atta surely atta be deep and all surely joyful. Lada have him received. Lada have him received. Macho means being, sentient being. Essential being. Yati chati means yati echati. Yan echati. What do you say? Yan echati. What do you want? Having, uh, having received what one want. What one want. What want. Having received what one want. If he receives what he want, he's so joyful. He's so happy. There is a nature also, the people also, who have a desire regarding the sense of pleasure. So, kama, kama means a sense of pleasure here. Kama yama nasa means desire. The word is a kama, is a two meanings. She must choose accordingly. Kama means one is a to be desired. Another is a desire for. Uh, karma is a two meaning. That is a call. What to karma is a to be desire. Desirable. Kilisa karma means a craving, which is a desire. What is desire? Therefore, one desired for sense of pleasure. Your desire is a craving. Sense of pleasure is a word to uh, object. Since it desires object. Dasa chitan samayasati. Dasa cha chita. Chitan chita. Chi means if. If. Samayasati succeed or wishful. Wishful. Dasa chitan chita. What do you want? 
is wishful. Whatever he wanted, he received. Atta pitimeno hoti. Atta, surely pitimeno joyful. His mind is with the joy, with the pity. Pitimeno hoti. Lada macho yadesati. After uh, having received what he want, he is so joyful, I want to say. That is the nature of the beings. That is asada. Sense of pleasure is asada. Sense of pleasure and cravings are asada. Okay? Because of desire, because of desire for craving, desire for Desire for is craving, tanna. Tanna, desire, sense of pleasure. Karma, sense of pleasure. Both are asara. So according to this, this verse, the Buddha explains the sense of the asara, what is enjoyed by the people. Now it is all beings are like that, you see. Whatever they want, they are wishful, very happy on those days. They are searching for happiness, always shouting, the hap no? when New Year started, Happy New Year. Xinyang no? Kualat for Chinese people. <laughs> happy New Year. So, always want happiness, you see, accordingly. Even daily life also, may you be happy. May you be happy. Happy birthday to you. So, there is asara. People also like that. So, asara. In the Buddha's teachings, asara is explained. Without the asara, we cannot wait. We, we have no, we, we, we dislike to live. Without the asara, we dislike to live the life. Because of there is asara, therefore we enjoy it here. So asara is in this way. Then, aya asaro. Dasa ji kamaya nasa chanda cha dasa chandu no. Kamaya nasa dasa chandu. Chandu means a sentient being. Sentient being. Chanda cha da means wishful. One, two. No? Chanda means wish. Chanda means rising. Wish in his mind. Chanda chandas. Wishful, sentient being. Who desire for? Who desire for sense of pleasure? Dasachi kamya manasa. So. Wishful, a wishful, uh, sentient beings who desire for sense of pleasure. Dekama prihayanti, what he want? Dekama, what he wants? The sense of pleasures. He lost the sense of pleasure. Not received. No, when he received, he is so happy. When lost, he will cry. <laughs> sense of pleasure, if it's sense of pleasure, lost, lose. Te kama brihayanti, chi brihayanti. Sala vitor, bias dart, bias arrow, bias dart. Penetrating 
and the dart, dart penetrate. Sanla, waita, piyas or penetrate. Ropati, safari, unhappiness in this way. Unhappy. If those sons of pleasures or pleasures decrease for that person who is a desiring then eager he is a heart as a true peers by by a dark. So that is a cause to suffering. Whatever desired, he lost. Lost, he is a sapare. So, upset means a kebe. That is Adinawa. Adinawa. Dukkha. Cause to sapare. So, there are two causes. One cause is cause to enjoyment, cause to sapare. Cause to pleasure, cause to displeasure. So, ad asara and adinwa. Adinwa. So, people are like that, you see. Anywhere, any person in the walls are like that. Whatever they want, they received, they are so happy. What they wanted, they lost, they are unhappy. So the Buddha explanation is very uh, simple way to explain. We experience in this way. Tasa ji kamiya nasa chanda cha tasa chantu no te kama prihayanti sanla vito wa ropati. Ropati means Heart, honey, no? property, support. Shoka me, very witchy, the sapasiwa, Sadasido, ya patasido. This is pata, is in my opinion, ya. The meaning is here is not good, I think. But uh, he he gave the meanings by food. By food. All tests are explained in this way. I think this is uh, Sata or Bada. But all tests are Bada. But uh, he translated in body na with the food. So your kami privichiti. One abide the sense of pleasure. Renounce the sense of pleasure. Therefore, whoever wish to attain nirvana. Actually, he must renounce. He should renounce sense of pleasures. That is a nikama, huh? renounce. Even lay devotees must renounce. Meditation practice during rainy ret during retreat, they have to renounce. Your kami privichetian. One renounces sense of pleasure. Like the head of, like one, avoid, avoid the head of snake. Because of snake's head, head, head is dangerous, you see. Not a day. Day is not dangerous. But the sun, snakes have day also poison. 
scorpions or tea, we must have quieted the tea. Had it is no problem. Sapatsiwa. <laughs> Sapat means a snake. Sapatsa iwa. Siro. Siro means a head. Head of snake. We must avoid the head of snake. On the forest, there are very big snakes. So, those who wish to avoid the snakes, they must be careful which is a head, where is a head. Avoid the head, and they must go the rear, from rear or from T side, must go there. The head is very dangerous. Sapa Sewa Sadasiro. Who afraid of snake, he must abide. He must abide the head of snake. Like that. Who wish to uh, who wish to uh, who who dislike a safari, he must abide a sense of pleasure. Yogami Privicheti. He bite sense of pleasure, like the head of snake. With the food, he say pada. With the food, body na. So man visati kan loki sato samadhi tekati. So iman visati kan loki. In the wall, that person, that person who avoid the sense of pleasure, who avoid this pleasure. Sato means with mindfulness, with the mindfulness. Visatika, ima visatika. Visatika means poinsenas. Poinsena here means craving. Visatika, ima visatika means poinsena craving. Uh, craving. That is a called na here. Ima visatika, okay. And the all, this craving or this attachment, he passed over, can pass over. Can overcome. A deep water day pass over this craving. Why, why the sense of pleasure like the, the head of snake? He can pass over the craving or the nah in this wall. Because of, as long as he enjoys the sense of pleasure, craving increase, attachments increase more and more. Therefore, must abide the sense of pleasure. That is a Kama Sutta, you see, in Sutta Nivada, Kama Sutta. There is a Nisarana, way of Nisarana, escape. How to escape? The Buddha explained how to escape. How to free from suffering. Nisarana. Then, here directly you see this is of the, with the by first, first, first verse, Asara, mention Asara. Second verse mentioned Adinawa. Third verse mentioned Nesarana. Yeah. Asara, Adinawa, Nesarana. Only three is directly mentioned here. Yeah. Listen. Then fourth, fourth also again Asara. Yeah. Kitan Wuto, Hiranyanwa, Kawasan, Dasa, Borison. 
Tio putu putu kami, Tio bantu putu kami, Yonaro anu kechati. Yonaro anu kechati. Yonaro means one person, one being, sensual vision. Anu kechati means it's a greedy. Anu kechati is greedy. It's greedy. You greed. What do you greed? Kitta. Feed. Where Betty grows. Kitta. Where Betty grows. Kitta. What to means land. Where the buildings constructed. Land. Or site. Kitta. What to? Kitta. Kitta. What to? Hiranya, money or gold. Money or gold. Hiranya. Kawasa, kawa asa, ko asa. Ko means a cow, asa means a horse, cow and horse. The people's properties are mentioned here. The properties of people. Dasa, sleep on those days, dasa. Purisa means waka. Tio means women. Tio, women. Pandu means relatives. Relatives or relatives or friends all together. Putus many karma sense of pleasure. Many other sense of pleasures want to say. This is a property owned by the people on those days. Now it is also have now it is a move. <laughs> Now it is a moment. Yonaro anukechati. If one is a greedy, such a property, so I want to say, that is asara. Asara. The Buddha is explaining asara here. Because of tana is asara, you see. You remember sukha, somanasa, Etaramana, Tatna, Vipanlasa, the all, all states belong to Monday. So they are also Asara. So whatever included these points, that is called Asara. Okay, let me break a few minutes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.